Being able to sketch diffracted shape and bending moment diagram is one of the most important skill that every structural and civil engineer should have. In this lecture, I will give you three steps to sketch deflected shape and bending moment diagram for simple beams but without any calculations and without any complex maths. Let's dive into today's lecture. I will solve two problems here and there will be four options and you can have a go at these problems before watching this lecture. So we have this beam, we have to sketch bending moment diagram for the load shown. On the left side, we have a pin support. In middle, we have roller. At the end, we have a roller support as well. These are four options. What option do you think is the right one? If you want to try it first, pause this video now and have a go and see which one is correct. Click on this link to take the quiz or scan this barcode to take the quiz before watching this lecture. Before I go ahead with sketching elastic curve and bending moment diagram, I would like to cover a few golden rules that you have to remember every time you plot reflected curve or bending moment diagram and these are connected to each other. The first rule is that bending moment diagram is always zero at simple support. So here at A we have simple support you can see bending moment diagram is zero. On the other hand, at B and C, these are continuous supports. So that's the reason you will always have some kind of hogging moment at uh, supports. Hogging moment means tension at top and compression at bottom. The second rule is that bending moment diagrams cross the baseline at points of contraflexure. Points of contraflexure are the points where bending moment is zero. Now here we have this point of contraflexure and where the deflected shape is changing in a direction that is point of contraflexure. So in this beam, you can see we have point of contraflexure here. Third golden rule is that moment under distributed or uniformly distributed load is always a curved one. So here you can see we have curved bending moment diagram. If we only had point loads, then we will have straight lines. Golden rule four is that at fully fixed support, the deflected shape must show zero rotation at the face of the support. Here at support A, you can see we don't have any rotation at all. So angle theta is zero at this support. Let's move to golden rule five. Golden rule five, if loading is point load, then BMD will always be a straight line. So see here that bending moment diagram is a straight line. Golden rule six is that if the structure remains straight after loading, no bending moment happens. Here between C and D, see that structure is straight. So when it is straight, you will not have any bending moment at that point. So remember these rules while we will solve the problem. Another key thing to remember is support conditions. So for roller support, we just have one reaction that is vertical reaction for pin support or simple support we have two reactions horizontal and vertical and for a fully fixed support we have horizontal vertical and we have resisting moment as well i will follow these th three steps to find the direction of reactions to sketch the deflected shape and to draw a bending moment diagram so the first step is point of certainty where the deflected shape must pass through supports and deflect downwards under a load. So here you will see we have point of certainty here. We have point of certainty under load and at support and at support. So elastic curve or deflected shape, deflected form, deflected curve, it should pass through these points. The next is the deflected shape and direction of uh, reactions. Now here we remove a support and the reaction that brings back the support to its original position gives the direction of reaction. So for example here, I'm removing support C. So when I remove support C, you can see that this is going into the straight line. So there must be some support to bring it back uh, downwards and this will determine the direction of the reaction. So here, if I apply load W, the beam will deflect downwards and the elastic curve or deflected shape will cross at point A 
and B and at C it will go oh, upwards. I'm assuming that C is removed. And the thing that can bring it down is a reaction. So reaction has to be downwards here. In that way, I will determine the uh, reactions. And reactions obviously at A and B will be upwards. So that will really determine the elastic curve or deflected shape. And then you can draw the bending moment diagram. So this was our second step. The third step is bending moment diagram and point of contraflexure draw bmd and check these steps against previous two steps so here we have upward reaction and upward reaction at point a and we have downward load at point a downward load uh, at this point is going to cause sagging moment that means that it will have tension at the a bottom and compression at the top so you saw that we had curve like this so here we have tension at top and compression at bottom so when we have compression top and tension bottom we have sagging moment so we will draw this moment up to the load point which is this point and on the right side again because we have tension top compression bottom that is hogging moment so we will draw that hogging moment like this and then simply we will connect these two lines and that will give us the bending moment diagram and the points where it's changing the direction from hogging to sagging it is termed as point of contraflexion now you saw that in the same way we have point of contraflexion over here here we have tension top compression bottom tension bottom and compression top and now you can see that the deflected shape and bending moment diagram they follow each other's logic so that's what we are going to do in that way we found out the correct answer the first one is not possible the reason is that we are applying loading downwards so it should deflect down and here it is going upwards so i cross this one the second one b you saw that this reaction was a downward reaction so that caused this hogging moment and here we have sagging moment we connected these two points so this is our correct answer answer b is the correct one and c is not possible because at pin support we cannot have a moment moment is always zero at pin support so here we have moment that's why this is wrong and option d is incorrect because the reaction is downward downward reaction cannot cause a sagging moment over here so this option is wrong as well so correct option is option b now tell me did you get it right even if you didn't get it right it's all right you have explanation here and then it, you can always watch the video but at least you tried now i will move to the next question the next question is that we have to identify correct bending moment diagram for the structure shown we have to ignore the self-weight the bending moment should be drawn on the tension side and we have fixed support this time at the left and then we have three roller supports and load is applied if you want to have a go at this question first pause this video now and see which option is correct take the quiz or use your notebook to see which option is correct so draw its deflected shape apply these three steps first is point reactions second is a deflected shape and third is bending moment diagram so which option do you think is correct use your notebooks to see which option is correct or simply go to this link and take this quiz first before watching this video scan this barcode to attempt the quiz as well let me apply these three steps to solve this question the first step is point of certainty where deflected curve must pass and you know that deflected curve should pass through the supports it should be under the load as well so here what do you think it should pass so it should pass through point b it should pass through point a as well under the load which is w here and point c and then point d now if i go over here the first one is under w so when you apply loading what will happen it will be sagging downwards when it is sagging downwards you have tension at 
bottom and compression at top this is sagging padding moment if i assume support d to be removed it will go up and the only thing that will bring it down is a reaction so here tension is at the top and again if i assumed support a to be removed then uh, you will see that the reaction va is bringing it down and tension is at the top so while we have anti-clockwise moment or hogging moment over here the resisting moment is going to be exactly opposite to that so that's why we have tension at bottom over here and resisting moment is clockwise so clockwise is going to cause uh, sagging over here because of the direction of reaction now this will have impact on bending moment diagram now first we have to draw the hogging so hogging is drawn upwards so between c and d we have hogging moment and at a you can see because of resisting moment resisting moment is in sagging so that's why for this portion we have a sagging moment then at point b you will see we have a tension at top and that's the reason it is upwards and at the point where load is applied you can see it is sagging downwards then simply we connect these points to come up with the bending moment diagram now the correct option is option c a is incorrect because we had a tension here and then at this point we have tension at the bottom so it must change the direction that's why a is incorrect b is incorrect as well because we had change of uh, shape we had tension over here and here we had tension at the bottom so it should change the direction here is direction is not changed so that's incorrect option c is the correct one because under the load you have sagging then at supports you have uh, hogging and resisting moment is causing to bend uh, downwards and option d is incorrect as well because when you have a fixed support it will always have resisting moment and resisting moment is not drawn here bending moment cannot be zero over here so the correct option is option c now once you have done this then to test your knowledge i would like you to solve these four questions and determine its direction of reactions and deflected form and bending moment diagram for these four questions to see if you're finding the correct answers or not you can watch the entire video series by clicking this URL or simply scan this barcode. Also, you can download the lecture slides as well. Go to this link to download lecture slide or simply scan the barcode. For preparing this lecture, I have taken information from these two books, David Brown, Understanding of the Structural Analysis and I struck is knowledge series behavior of beams and two-dimensional frames these are very useful resources 